So I don't mind very often, but um, from what I can see, I think like the, the waypoints for the Dwarven Mines and Crystal Hollows, they could be potentially quite useful. That could also be the automaton parts, it's also not too bad. Worm spawning is also I would get. Tristess Helper and then Mines of Divin is also very good because that is an absolute nightmare to get. So in the other section there's not too much. Um, the only thing I would really recommend is the Rainmaker Timer and the Combat Timer. Apart from that there's not really that much. Is that good? Moving on to the player stats, the player stats I actually find incredibly useful. So when I want to check like someone's profile, um, I can literally just click this and click a hotkey for whatever I want. And I click the hotkey and so this is like my profile, right? So I can just see slayers, um, dungeons, uh, mining, overall, and just like just loads of stuff. And I can also just search up like anyone's profile. So if I search up refraction, because why not? Uh, it's just gonna load, and there I can see all of his stats. And I think that's pretty cool, honestly. So I would use that a lot. The profit calculator is good when it actually works, because I feel like half the time it doesn't work for me when I join dungeons, but. You know, that's fine. Um, the quality of life. This is also just another long one. And it's... I mean, what it's what it says. It's quality of life. Um, so, I would just recommend just looking through this and seeing if anything really looks useful. I, d I don't really bother with too much of these, but... Yeah. Now, for the secrets guide. The secret guide is an absolute gem. It's so good, so I don't know why anyone would turn this on because I think it's just it's just bad. That's what I think. But um But these waypoints they are so useful. And one thing you've got to be careful that sometimes is like bad line reverses the rooms, which is a bit weird. Sort of like it switches the rooms over. I don't know why it does that, but yeah, sometimes that happens, so just with skills, I personally don't tend to use these because I don't think they're that useful. But yeah, skill bar just shows a skill that's like this is my combat skill. Skill progress also shows like um, menu up here. And I, I have no idea what show XP glimpse is, but if someone can tell me then yeah. With slayers, I think that the slayer armor progress indicator is not really that useful. Better bat phone is useful, and this is also useful. Um, I don't do tier like tier three and above void glooms, so I don't really know if this is all that good. I think this is quite good because it just tells you like where all the stuff is, and I know that you have to keep keep like your head on about a billion things to do in void glooms. So I think it's probably quite good. These solvers again are also really good. So this experimentation table solver is really useful because let's be real, if you do the experimentation table properly then I mean what are you doing? Um Lasium solvers or almost all of these dungeon solvers, I need to enable that. Um almost all of them are really good. Um I mean there's a couple of ones you can definitely do yourself, but most of the ones you definitely want to have solvers for. And they just speed up your run so much. Finally, we have the end section, and this is mainly for um, zealot grinding, and also like some stuff about ends and protectors. These are all like quite good if you want. Like, so this tells you the amount of um, eyes per zealot killed. So like this, and if you're doing zealot grinding, I just turn all these on. But if you're not, I just remember, I just recommend turning these off because they just get in the way of your menu and they're just a bit annoying. Yeah, that's about it. 